Hello, welcome back to New Bush PC Builds. Today it's time to do a bit of a different video when I'm going to look at my main build and look at to see if I can improve the temperatures when playing games. <laughs> So you can see my main build behind me. It's in the Fractal case, the uh, Micro ATX case, that I reviewed a few months back. I'll link the video in the end screen. Um, but everything's been going great with this. During, when I was using it during the winter, I didn't really see any problem with temperatures. But now we're in the uh, summer, and it's a bit warmer in the basement where I, where I actually do my work and play my games and stuff like that. So what I've found is that the, my GPU temperature was getting up to 95 degrees Celsius. The CPU is fine, it's around 77. So what I did is I took the side panel off and uh, see what the temperatures went down. They went down to 84 on the GPU. But what I noticed is because the CPU is not really being taxed that much when I'm playing games, the, the actual, because the, at the front of the case we've got a, uh, I've got a uh, all-in-one cooler and it's got the radiator at the front and the fans are con for the radiator are connected to the CPU. So if the CPU gets hot then they kick in. So with the CPU not being that hot, really the, the fans on the front of the case were not really getting up to any kind of, any kind of high uh, volume, so they weren't pushing a lot of air in. So what I was noticing when I put my hand in, I couldn't really feel any air coming through, which would be hitting the GPU. So what was happening is my, G, my, my GPU's been starved of, of cooler air. So what I'm going to do today is... Now, in, in this case, one of the downsides of it is you can only put a AIO radiator in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the AIO out. What I'm going to do is then put an all-in, I'm going to put a, a good air cooler in it. And I'm going to leave the two fans in the front, but I'm going to connect them up to the motherboard and see if I can use software. So they'll be going off the GPU temperature and see what one, what the impact on the GPU is to see if I can get them down to the 80s instead of the 90s. And two... Um, to see also um, if my CPU still maintains a temperature around 77 and that doesn't go too high. Um, and that might be the configuration I go to. This is re really, it's not that the, the, the fans can't put enough air through the radiator, it's just because the CPU is never getting hot enough in games, because not many games really tax the CPU that much, that I've been noticing this has been, like, been stifled. And because it's a micro ATX case and there's not much air for it available from below, the only really place it's going to get fresh air is to come in through the front. So in this particular case, I've got a feeling that um, by adding, say I'm also maybe going to put a, a, an exhaust fan on the top to see if I can keep, keep it two and two to keep a nice balanced airflow and see if that's going to improve, improve the temperatures any. All right, without further ado, let's uh, unplug my main PC and let's go and put the air cooler in and maybe put an additional fan in. Then I'll test to see what the t uh, temperatures are and I'll report back and see how it goes. So the cooler I'm going to try and put in and see if it fits is an Octua NHD15. I've not actually tested this in my cooler league, I was going to do it going forward but instead I'm going to try and put it in this build. I'm going to see if it will fit in this case which will be very interesting. It looks like it will just about fit, I think it will clear the glass but only just. So I'm going to go with it and put it in. So due to the height of the memory and the uh, motherboard MOSFET uh, cooling, 
um, I'm only going to be able to put one fan on, which is going to restrict it a little bit in terms of its cooling, but we should still be okay. But that's the uh, the uh, cooler installed, so let's get our GPU back in and then we'll test it again when playing games. So I've completed my testing after changing the cooler in my PC. Um, it came out better than I expected. The CPU is still hovering around 77 degrees Celsius when I'm playing um, World of Warships, which is the game I was playing in the first instance when I was hitting 96 degrees on the GPU. The GPU is now hitting 86 degrees and I've actually heard the fans on the case kicking in to put more cooler air in to help the GPU out. I didn't, wasn't able to set in the BIOS to follow the GPU temperature, but what I was able to do is to go for the system temperature because the motherboard I've got has got a, a, a system um, setting, a system sensor, so it was able to follow that, and it's putting a lot more air in, and it's going to 86, and it takes it actually takes a little bit longer to get there as well, which is a real result. So the PC is a lot cooler, and I'm really pleased with it. The cooler uh, fits in, as you can see over there. And the, the, I was only able to put one fan on it, but it's still doing its job, as well as the liquid cooler was, which to be fair, the Doctor Killer I put in is a, is a bit of a beast, so it's kind of not a surprise. Um, but yeah, everything went well. So, in summary, it was definitely um, the fans on the AIO were not kicking in enough to put enough air in to, to cool the GPU down. It was choking. By moving out the AIO and putting a really good cooler in on the CPU, I was able to achieve uh, good temperatures on both. Uh, again, I don't think this is necessarily a problem where the fans weren't able to put enough air through the radiator. That's not the issue. I just don't think the CPU got hot enough to, for the fans to kick in on the fan curve that I had to be able to put enough air through. Now, I could have just ramped up the fans, but that would have meant they would have been going a lot louder more often. I didn't really want to do that. So the solution I've got now means that the fans are only going up when they're needed, and the rest of the time they're actually quite cool. So it actually works out really well. All right, let me know what you, have you hit a similar circumstance like this, especially with the Fractal Pot Mini? Have you had the AIO at the front? Have you noticed that, say, a powerful GPU you've got in yours actually throttling? Um, it'd be interesting to hear if anybody else has got stories like this. And again, I emphasize this was not anything to do with um, fans not being able to put enough air through a radiator. What That was not the circumstances. So. But if you have it, anything similar, leave comments down below. I'm very interested to hear from other people to see if they've hit similar issues. You know, have any of you gone and got the adapter kit for the Pop Mini and put the radiator on top? And have you seen any benefits from that? I didn't put an additional exhaust fan in there, so I've got a slight positive pressure because I've got two fans at the front putting air in and only one taking air out. Um, but I haven't really noticed the problem. I'll just have to keep an eye out on the dust filter on the front of the case to see if I get a buildup of uh, dust on the fans. All right, I hope this information was useful. It, hopefully, similar circumstances, you may, it may help other people if you do something similar to your machine, if you've seen uh, adverse temperatures on your on your PC. Um, it, I said, if you please leave a comment down below. If this was useful, please put toss a like on the video because that's always helpful. Uh, if, you, if you really would like to, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. I only put a video once a month, so I'm not exactly what you call spectacularly regular. But if you want to see the videos when they come out, hitting the bell icon is always useful. And that's it. And as always, take care.